Hey guys, welcome back. I have a cool branded Bestial vs. Dragon Link Bestial um, replay for you. A really crazy game that I want to show you. But before I do it tomorrow, there will be a guide, a video on a Dragon Link Bestial, which I think uh, same as uh, branded Bestial. It's a really strong deck that I am playing right now and on the ladder at Diamond 2 to climb to Master 1. And I can tell you it's a grind right now, especially or, or it's a grind with the Dragon Link Bestial deck. It was also a grind with the branded Bestial deck. I played tier elements which felt super bricky and I do not think that tier element is the hotter deck right now to be honest. I think Sprite might be the secret contender for the best deck to reach Master 1 with. Who knows, I'm not super intrigued at the moment to play Sprite but yeah. Let's hop right in into the game and then as I already said tomorrow there will be a guide on Dragoning Bestial as I think this is a really strong and really nice fun deck. So we are starting off uh, setting our branded regained. Then I pitch the Lubelion to grab myself the Saronir, which um, yeah, I could have grabbed myself a Magna Mood, but I obviously need this now for Chaos Space. So this is why I went for the Saronir, sending the Saronir, and uh, I get my Weather Burster, sending a, a Ball Drake. So I was sending a Ball Drake because then if my so so the reason the idea here is that i can summon my bestial obelion um in the turn and then set my branded beast and branded beast could then get me back a uh, bestial ball drag when i have it in the graveyard so this is why i pitched it here and i did not pitch the branded beast because obviously i would not get it out of the graveyard we are summoning the wyvern burster have to banish the saronia getting back the saronia and now we draw a magna mood which is really nice we go Striker Dragon, of course, Striker Dragon searching the Boot Sector Launch and we are grabbing the Dark Dragon here. Let's grab him and our Boot Sector Launch, there it is. I'm going Dark Dragon, banishing the Light Dragon, we go Romulus, of course, this is pretty basic, pretty standard and I will make a few mistakes in the game as will my opponent, but I think that is what made this a nice game. We are grabbing the Light Guy and grabbing the Dragon Ravine. Which is nice because now we can uh, like discard the light guy. We are activating care space, uh, putting back our other light weather burster, drawing another rebellion, which is nice. I go Magnemute here to activate basically. So, so you want to activate your ball end line in your game plays, uh, in your games, and then you want to activate your bestial line. So, for the activated bestial line, I need now my Magnemute, which I then can activate its search effect. Then I can go Lobelion and set my branded beast and my. My Bistil line is life. He goes a uh, Bistil Druze Worm to uh, banish my Lobelion, which is nice for me because I have drawn another one. So I let him go banish the Lobelion um, because I can pitch the Lobelion via uh, the Dragon Ravine because the effect needs a discard. And then I can also, because I summon a monster, summon a Bistil, I can summon my Baldrake as I intended before. I drop the Bistil Lobelion here and drop the Absol Router to grab myself a Rocket Tracer. Pretty standard. Then we are uh, summoning the Bissier Dubelion here, attributing the Magna Mood. I am setting the Branded Beast. Now we are going uh, Boot Sector Launch, activate Boot Sector Launch to summon the Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer, destroy the Launch and recharge her into our Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, which is way better right now uh, with the Bestials. We are grabbing ourselves a, I think, uh, yeah, the Drew is Worm. We are grabbing ourselves the Drew is Worm, rest goes to Graveyard. And now I go directly into the Bower End here because. And this was um, possibly a moment where I should have decided differently, but I had on the field, as you can see, I had the link 2 on the field, but what you normally want to do is you want to uh, go into your guard rank Pisty and then go into your triple burst, then you can uh, resummon something and then you have five materials that you can go ball and with, but I cannot make Pisty. Uh, because I didn't have a level 4 dragon monster, so I directly had to go into my Bower End here. Then I am targeting this, negating this, and resummoning uh, my Rocket Tracer. And now, which is pretty nice, I can also go into the Baron de Fleur. Um, quad Bower Dragon, sorry guys. Um, I couldn't go into Baron de Fleur because I already had used my Rocket Tracer. But this was the idea, so I wanted to go into Baron de Fleur, but then I realized. Fuck, I've gone Rocket Tracer. If you activate Rocket Tracer's effect, then you are locked into Dark Monsters from the Exile deck. So then I went uh, Quad Bowl Dragon. The idea was to destroy it and resummon this guy and also the Recharger. I dropped the Viper Burster 
resummon him and the other guy and then I go into Borlord Savage which is also nice I can now equip uh, the Romulus and I have uh, two negates so I also place my Cold Brother Grab I have a Maxi I have Branded Beast I have Branded Regained I get my Search from Magna Mood Bold Rake it looks over guys this this game looks over i go draw face drop the maxi just to avoid triple tactics um, because that could have been tier limits here um it was branded in the end and they really don't play um they really don't play um the triple tactics he sets his fall of albas and then contacts fusions away all my dragons with alba Nenatos. really really strong fortunately not a lot of brand decks are playing this card because exolate is really tight I myself have not played it, but this is the ultimate um, defense against Dragon Link. You can tribute away all open dragons on the field for Alba Ninatos, and you don't even you don't need to do anything. You only have to have the Albas on field, I think. Or is it the case? Um, uh, Al yeah, Fall of Albas. So he could also because a fusion monster can also be made with a uh, face down card. He could just place the Fall of Albas, and yeah. Going for the Albaninatos, uh, I can now activate my uh, regained I draw a card because of Maxi and can resummon my Magnamut, activate effect of Magnamut, which is quite nice. He goes battle phase and battles over and here. I made a little mistake. I should have activated Branded Beast, uh, tributing this and then destroying this. So this effect would have been like, like it would have gone into, into, no into the nothing because there were no targets on the field. But now he is still on the field, unfortunately, and I cannot no longer or can no longer go branded beast because I used my magnum hood already. He goes search for branded fusion, and I'm quite happy because I think, okay, branded fusion that will happen next turn, and I will definitely kill him this turn. I draw Levine, really nice. I am going to draw um, White Dragon Viper Burster, awesome. I go Levian here to destroy two cards my plan was to destroy both of these cards and um, or maybe him so that he um, I, I can call it by the grave him when he goes to the grave and then his effect will be negated i activate branded regain because a card was banished to draw and he activates branded beast some tributing this to destroy my banded uh, branded beast and then also negates my Levian here and now i'm thinking okay this is fine I will go ahead and just banish the Druus Rum so he does not destroy my Libyan here. He has no cards left on the field that can do anything. I will basically win this turn. This was my train of thought. So I was pretty fine with the situation. We are banishing the Druus Worm, thereby negating the destruction effect. Now he negates our Libyan here, which is fine. The only thing that accomplishes is that his branded beast will not leave the field, but at this moment I think it's alright. We are summoning uh, the Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, and we are coming close to my really, really unfortunate misplay, which uh, nearly costed me the game. So we go Chaos Phase. Fortunately, my opponent also makes a misplay, a big one. So I am summoning these guys because I think, okay, I can just attack and this is game. But the thing is, if you use the effect of Chaos Dragon Livia in here, he cannot attack. So I'm realizing, oh shit, I attack. Um, or what was oh no sorry um, uh, that was wrong guys um, not not the Livianaire but I used uh, the rocket tracer effect oh no that was wrong also I used quick launch that's right I used quick launch to summon the rocket tracer and quick launch says it cannot attack that was the point I didn't realize this myself because this never comes up when you play the game or play Dragon Link normally so I'm like okay shit I resummon my busy Lubeda and I'm not quite sure why to be honest. I am banishing his Albas, I just want to have guys on the field and go into Baron de Fleur and I think like, okay, I can destroy the Branded Beast, I am still fine, I'm pitching another Lubelion and I also go for the um, Hieratic Seal, I also have a Ball Drag in hand and I'm thinking like, okay, I have a Negate, I have a Bounce, I can get something back via Regate and I also have a Ball Drag, this should be alright, I have banished banished one of his albuses so i think okay that should be fine he goes branded opening and i'm like okay it's fine he can go for alubor then he goes alubor i will not I, I don't negate the alubor because i'm thinking okay i can negate the branded fusion but at this moment i was thinking like okay maybe and that would be a bit bad maybe he already has branded fusion or branded lost and he searches the other one uh, that ends up being the case. I resummon the Druus Worm and now I realize, okay, Druus Worm, I cannot activate this turn because I've negated him with Caught by the Grave. He goes branded lost, so I basically know that he has a branded fusion here. 
He's such a bandit lost and I'm thinking, should I destroy this with Baron? And at this moment I was on Discord with a friend of mine and I knew that I cannot negate the branded fusion with my Baron because Baron negates activation and branded lost says that um, negations of activations, also that the activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summon monster cannot be negated. So everything that negates the effect cannot be stopped by branded lost. But Baron negates the activation, so it can be stopped by Bandit Lost. I knew this, but I was talking to my friend on Discord. Um, I go Baldrick here because I want Baldrick on the field for the moment that a fusion monster comes down. Not realizing that I cannot react to the fusion summon because Branded Lost. Branded Lost, I should have destroyed this card at this moment. Branded Lost also says that um, also your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when a monster is fusion summoned this way. So this is why I will not be able to activate my ball drag in a moment. And now I make another mistake. I banish the Tribigate Mercuria from his grave instead of the Albanonatus, now realizing, fuck, he can search something now. And of course this was a mistake. The only thing is that I can use my rank regained now, sending his Mercuria back and drawing a card, another ball drag, which is basically dead in my hand. He draws a fallen of Albas, which will come up now. And now I decide to use my Sphere to bounce back the Fawn of Albas because if Albas is not on the field, he cannot fusion summon. So we are bouncing and I, like in this moment, I was like, can I can I summon my Chaos Emperor Dragon? But I couldn't because I'm running the Chaos Emperor Dragon. So I summoned another Sauronia just to, if it goes to Grave, have another search or something. There was nothing else I could really summon here. He goes Bandit Fusion and I am talking to my friend and I'm saying to my friend, I cannot negate this. But then my Baron pops up and I'm thinking like, hey, why why is here the why do I have the opportunity to negate it? So I neg I tried to negate this because I was thinking maybe I'm I'm mistaken I, and I didn't read this again. Um, I got the opportunity to negate and I took it. Obviously I can't. So Bandit Fusion goes through and I lose this negate here. Really unfortunate, really bad. I was really mad at myself. And now he goes Albion. I cannot react. Um, though it doesn't really matter because if you if you banish the Albion, he can still make Lubelion. If you banish Lubelion, Lubelion can use stuff from the from the banished pile. So it doesn't really matter if you banish the Albion or the Lubelion. So I wanted to to reserve my ball drag banishment for whatever comes after Lubelion, but not realizing that I cannot use my ball drag. He goes Albion and then can obviously search from his branded lost. He goes into Lubelion now. I don't react to this because I obviously can't. He goes and searches Albion, which yeah, he drops now. And he goes into Mirror Jade, of course. Mirror Jade, and I'm like, ah, fuck, this looks bad now. He also summons his Bissier Lubelion, though, what is he setting? Oh, the Regain, yeah, so the Regain. He drops the Retribution, which he can, and now this is the funny part. This is the really funny part. He attacks my Sauron here, right? And look at his grave. He has Retribution in the grave and Branded Beast. So, and he has 200 life points left. So he is attacking, attacking my Ball Drake, and now activating the Mirror Jade, to pitch the sprint the iron dash which can can he can summon a, an aluba now or he could summon a, um, a fallen of albas now or can add uh, a springens card so and my my thinking was okay i basically only need to to have a monster here that can kill the lubelion and do 200 damage to him but i was also aware that he can just use attribution to get back his branded beast then set his branded beast and on my turn just tribute this thing, destroy my Baron, and then there there wasn't any opportunity for me to kill him because I have nothing in the deck I think that is 200 points stronger than the Mirror Jade that I can really summon. So I was like, okay, he can just end the game, he can, can just go for the Branded Beast, can add it back to hand, can set it, but for some reason he didn't do it, he didn't realize it and he'd only do it in, in the next turn. He goes Branded in red, but he adds the Branded in red to hand because there is nothing that he can hit with the Branded in red here. And then I think the sprint also activates what he could have done here. So so he adds the Fawn of Albas to hand because he cannot activate it. He activated it this turn already. So he cannot use the Fawn of Albas, right? So we are going over to my turn and I'm like, okay, I only have to attack now to win the game. I go battle phase. He goes Sauronia banishing my Lubelion for whatever reason, but it doesn't matter. I can still attack. He can now draw another card, of course, 
I will still attack and now he does the play that he should have done last turn that would have saved him the game. He adds his branded beast back to hand but it's too late. I go through, attack him for 500 damage and the game is over. Really really crazy game. A lot of misplays from both sides and yeah we end up winning here and I hope you like the replay and you are ready for the Bicy Rang Link deck guide tomorrow guys. Until then I wish you a great night. I'm going to sleep now and we will see each other tomorrow.